So today's email comes from a subscriber named Samantha. And her question is, Keith, should we consider preachers of today as prophets? Are there prophets today or was that just during the time of the apostles? Thank you for your help, Brother Keith. And thank you, Samantha, for your question. And this is a good question. And I'm going to do my best to explain it from both sides, both positions. Now, when we look at the word prophet, it means someone who declares an inspired message from God, a proclaimer of the will of God. The word prophet comes from the Greek word ekprosopos, which translates to mean spokesman, okay? Someone who speaks on the behalf of God. And this is where the discrepancy comes from, because there is basically two positions you can take regarding this word. Now, the reason that I believe the modern day preacher is not a prophet is because number one, when you examine the New Testament, the gift of the prophet seems to have been a temporary gift that was given to the apostles for the initial establishing of the foundation of the church. Ephesians 4.11 makes it clear that God gave the gift of prophecy. Now, in this dispensation, we all understand that the apostles received direct revelation, direct revelation from God in the first century. Okay, this is what would lead to the establishing of the canon. But now that the canon is closed, when we look at the word prophet from a revelatory sense, it doesn't add up. It just doesn't. Because today's preachers are not receiving direct revelation from God. They are basically expounding from the same text that we can read from. Okay, There is not a pastor on this planet that can tell me something that I can't go to the word of God and find myself. Now, what I will accept is if you come up to me and say, hey, Keith, what I mean when I say prophet is a man of God who stands beyond a pulpit and reiterates what has already been revealed to a congregation and then expounds on it, exegetes it and explains it or explains what has just been reiterated, then I will accept that. OK, but the problem is that's not what most people mean when they speak of a prophet. Listen, a few weeks ago, I had a woman who emailed me and she was claiming to be this great prophetess. She has a, her own YouTube channel where she basically sits at her kitchen table and she raises her hands and she lifts her head and then she speaks to her audience what she claims the Lord just spoke to her. OK, listen, that's not only unbiblical, that's just flat out demonic. And so I hope I've explained the two positions that people take regarding the word prophet. And personally speaking, I do not believe in modern day prophets. I believe in men of God who preach the gospel. But I'm also not totally against the other position. As well. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. In other words, Jesus says the first word he uses that beware, be alert, look carefully. Because there are false prophets and these false prophets will clothe themselves outwardly in the clothing of the sheep, but inwardly they are not so. Usually we think it's easy. And by the way, that's not what we're allergic to in our culture. We're not allergic to the false prophet who's an obvious false prophet. That's not what we're allergic. We don't mind that at all. When someone stands up and tells just blatant, ball-faced lies, we, we have very little problem saying, well, that's a false prophet. Or if false prophets are doing horrendous things and hurting people and manipulating people, you know, the Jim Joneses of the world, we have no problem saying that's a false prophet. But Jesus puts a finer point on it here. Jesus says, beware of false prophets, not because they're going to be easy to spot, they're going to be out there for you to see and for all the world to see, and you'll be able to know, hey, that's a false prophet. Ding, 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 red flag. No, Jesus says, you need to beware, you need to be on the lookout, because these individuals will dress themselves in the uniform of my sheep. They will hide who they truly are. They will learn to use narrow gate language. They will learn to emulate hard road living. They will learn to masquerade as small crowd people. And they will learn to trick you into thinking that they are on the road that leads to life. And yet, they are false prophets.